melee bracket here. So some exciting times. Tweet it to your friends. Got melee bracket going. Link it. I think I'm going to be joined here by uh, Dress Sharply himself, uh, R Pots. And I th is that six game one? Oh, they're, uh, they're doing something. Yeah. Click is on. Alright, and we're at Fuller Hype. Somewhere in melee bracket. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is Winner's Quarters, I believe. Although I'm not certain, I've checked the bracket. I think yeah, it's we'll quarters. call it Winner's Quarters to uh, make it sound cooler anyway. Uh, <laughs> our right. being one of the best Falcon players that we have here, just behind uh, Dark Rain, of course, but you know, we, we got a good one here. Yeah, he's number two now, I would say, after Jason leaving to California and beating Ken it's over and over again. Yeah, that's very true, good point. <laughs> Alright, we're seeing him getting walled out with back airs, of course, this is a standard Falco matchup here. Misses the down air, tries to drop through, gets a down smash. Uh oh, drop throw's there. Oh, that was so sick with the drop zone knee. Makes it back up here, what we got going on. Alright. Trying to pressure the shield, using it with the unsafe uh, insta back air. Not getting punished much out of it. Back to neutral, nice power shield. We got. Oh, going for the really unsafe, good tech. Oh, very Straight good tech. Right good there. Shit. Oh, excellent shield grab. Great awareness to get that, that backward shield grab on that. It's gonna wall him out. Double lasers not quite safe into the forward smash. Gets a nice shield grab. Once again, the dropping of the dares. Big problem mine as well. Oh, dude, these the power shields are all over the place here. Get another knee. Oh, he sticks the safe after the up air. Totally safe. Let's see. Drops a stock, but he's got a substantial lead coming in here on his second stock. True. Oh, he was expecting to roll another tech chase. Gets the up throw knee anyway. He can't DI that in. Let's see. How's he going to bait out the invincibility? Just certain lasers. Take 8%. Don't worry about it. Again, I, I, I didn't shield. know Frizz is getting so good at these power shields lasers. <laughs> Excellent practice. Oh, nice shield drop. Doesn't get anything out of it still, but it uh, gets out of the pressure pretty well. Yeah, Lova doing a very good job with those back air walls. Tries to go for that down air to edge garden, but doesn't quite Gets away up. with the cheese roll in from the ledge, too. Jabs it down to on the shield. Unsafe option, but working out pretty well in his favor. No DI on the back air. And finish up with another no DI back again. Two stocks all even tight battle here. Game and one. after being after such a substantial lead, you gotta be wondering what's going through Frizz's head right now. I think Frizz is feeling okay. He knows how it is. He plays Falco a little bit too, so he he, he knows this matchup is very high high variance. Anything can go back and forth anytime. Putting out a lot of wow. hurt with the nice uh, covers all options after the missed tech on the down smash. See how's he gonna get out of this pressure? Gets reset. Okay, it's nice. Reset to neutral. Gets an air opening. Down throw. Oh, drop zone. Oh, oh wow. but doesn't get it. Man, that was really smart of uh, Lovo to just fall with him and not be baited into double jumping into the the drop zone knee. It's a big problem. It's really hard to be patient and wait out the whole long uh, soft knee hitbox. You see a little bit of frustration on Frizz's face right there. He doesn't quite have an answer yet for. Uh... You, you're seeing something out of Frizz's face all the time. Has he ever had, <laughs> never? Has he never had not had a crazy facial expression while playing melee? He is definitely the king of the uh, player cam locally. He's making the mis mistake of chewing gum like a madman now too. Swallowing him out, covering that top platform recovery. You're gonna do it once again with the bear. Oh, nice! Gets the shield up on the edge cancel. Very smart option. Again, nice power shield. Goes for the gentleman. Oh, that's oh, that's Very so good. good. Knee. That should do Looks it. like he was probably trying to get uh, you know trying to get a narrow out or something like that. Ends up getting the uh, I'm guessing unintentional dash jack. Gets it, good knee on it by by Frizz. Interesting option with the forward throw. Not really sure what he's going for. Oh, he's gonna double jump. He does. Oh, uh, nice. Very nice good. Isaiah recovery. Very good back to the ledge. Yeah. He spaced out of the bear. Again, well, one. well done again. Gets up with the shield, gets grabbed. It seems so safe because you know that Falcon wants to hit your shield, but... Oh! Okay, okay. Oh, so close. Uh, oh, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. Yeah, and after such a strong start, Frizz drops that first game. He's a little bit of a hole right now, the hometown hero. Yeah, he does the Mewtwo King on, on, on game four, or uh, so the fourth stack. Insta goes to, to Pokemon Stadium, not afraid of the advantage that it might give to Falco. Is that a player feel kind of thing, I guess? Just really uh, familiar it, with that it's matchup? It's definitely a player feel thing. Back in the day, a lot of uh, Falcon players started going, including Dark Rain and S2J, 
and uh, Silent Spectre started going to uh, Pokemon Stadium against Spaces, even though it seems to be such a good counterfeit for Spaces in general. Yeah. Nowadays, it just kind of varies. Falcon likes all the room to run around, but but the transformations really do benefit Spaces in general a lot more. A little less so in the anti-Falco matchup than the anti-Fox matchup, but not much. Anyway, back to the match. Gets opened up with an up tilt, doesn't manage to get the back air off of it. Is he going to uh, forward tilt to the ledge, doesn't get anything. And it looks like uh, Frizz has kind of changed up his game plan a little bit. Either that or he's been uh, scared into it. He's kind of playing a little more cautious uh, at the very beginning of the last uh, game. Oh, he was what kind a of great read place. on the standing tech. But you're right, he is playing a little more patient, which is good. I mean, you, you, it, it's kind of hard to, to not just let Falco determine the pace of the match with all the shield pressure and the, the heavy punishes and combos that he can do in this matchup. But as you see a lot of really, really good uh, Falcon players do, they just take the momentum and run with it when they get it. You gotta punish even harder than Falcons than Falco is getting, because he's gonna win the neutral game so often. Yeah. Misses the tech, gets the dash attack to open up again. Going for two more dash attacks, not getting anything. Nice jab on the shield, baiting out the uh, the jump out, and gets the weak bear to the fucking survival DI to strong bear. Misses. Oh, oh. wow. Get the ledge, take nice it. Yeah. Nice by Frizz. Falco missed the tech on it, but... Kind of a else? lost edge guard right there. It kind of quickly it, reversed the situation. That, that is a huge reversal. Doesn't lose all that much off of it. Oh, but he does not make it to the legend time. I thought he was going to get that. Oh, uh, momentum time. Yeah, let's see. There's a knee. Gets him opened up. Tech chases him on the buffer roll. Ah, uh, but spot dodges the, the, the DD grab. Good play by Falco. Now he's got the momentum back in his favor. Just being patient, he's waiting out there, sitting, throwing out tilts, throwing out jabs. It's a little unusual to see uh, Falco's doing it, especially angry Red Falco, but you know, he's <laughs> trying it anyway. Gets the dare as he comes up, waits for it again. Oh, drops all the way down uh, the uh, tomahawk up tilt from above. That's pretty unusual. I don't Very see good that mind game. It is an interesting <laughs> little delay game. right there. You, you don't see that kill, uh, and, well, anyway, not even Falcon at 180 very often. Unusual. Back to the neutral game, of course, Falco's shooting lasers. Oh, but just gets poked with the knee. I'm not sure if he's trying to get his shield up or not, but looks like the edge of that platform threw him off a little bit. Unfortunate error. And Frizz opening up a big lead, but if you remember game one last time... It's true, and just like Falcos lead. do after a mistake like that, they just come in and shield pressure because they're angry and they want to hit you. At least that's what I do. <laughs> and... Nice late up air. Doesn't get the knee that he wants to follow up. Double jumps up, expecting the get-up attack. He rolls away instead. Back to neutral. Looks... Frizz has got the... doesn't That's, go for the knee. Ooh. Again, he's going for these up airs, which is fine. It's, oh, he picks it, that it's one safe, up, though. There we go. Picks up the knee. Good call on the side B. And All he right. ties it up. Very yeah. nice rebuttal on his part. Wasn't looking very good there for a little bit, but he uh, is able to answer back. Are yeah. we going to... We got a 1-1 one, one set. I'm presuming this is just the best of three. I think this yeah, is Yeah, it's quarters. best of three, yeah. Now, fortunately, Lobo won game one, so he gets to play this on his counter pick. I'm guessing uh, that Frizz probably banned Yoshi's, or maybe maybe FOD, maybe one or the other. Probably they must have banned FOD. They going to Yoshi's. Okay. And already had him on a platform, but gets that get up attack to get him out of that trouble. He did. Falco's messing up a little bit of his lasers. Let's see what we can get kind of punishes from Frizz. Not a whole bunch goes for the stomp on shield. Oh, nice shield drop up air. I really like that Frizz is going for that option nowadays. He's one of the few players uh, from, from our area around here that really is using the shield drop quick aerials to get out of shield pressure. That new the, technology. That new tech that, that SoCal is just using all the time nowadays, but we're, we're lagging behind here in the Midwest. Doesn't be able to get the, the down air for the punish there. But I like that play from Loma. Very, uh, oh. very patient, very just, you know, waiting oh, it Frizz out. Oh, Frizz using excellent play with Randall there. First off, he gets a knee, then lands back on, gets his double jump back, and gets an up air, finishes off with a, the, another knee. Good finish. But just Again, like you said, that momentum is carrying everything. Just that's the, the third time this said that, that uh, Frizz is spaced out really well with, the, with fading back with the up B, like Isaiah did all the way back ten years ago, to avoid the, the wall of bear that Falco's throwing out. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that Lobo was going to catch on to that eventually and just, and just commit harder to the bear. We'll see. We'll see if he makes the, the adjustments needed. Yeah, definitely it's playing off. He's been very, uh, I'd say, cautious and patient in terms of uh, option selection. Nothing, like, really crazy. You, you kind of see that happen in, in a matchup as aggressive as this. Oh, like right gonna, there, it uh, worked against him, though. Yeah, he went really for it. Did. He just, uh... Yeah, that's exactly what I would do in this situation, too, and I would die exactly the same. <laughs> Let's see. But, it, again, it's just a one-stock deficit. As we know, one-stock is not a lead, especially not in a matchup like this. Interrupts the knee with a nair. Very well-spaced. 
Again, he's just walking around throwing out tilts. It's, it's very unusual to see in this matchup. Again, especially for Angry Red Falco. I just, I'm, I'm just not used to that. Is he gonna get the tech again? Doesn't even need it. It's very, very calculated in his option selection. It seems like. Good and he's tied it right back up. Yeah, it was a nice invincible bear to cover the to, to beat out the nair that Falcon was trying to throw it out there. Oh, that's nice. This could be trouble. Could be. He uses a good up air to get gets the safety back to the ledge. Getting shield pressure rolls out. Let's see what we got going on here. Misses an L cancel on the dairy. He's gonna get punished for it. He's building up some damage at 71. He's looking for maybe another back air to wall him out. Wallace wants a route in Briz's favor. He's in a little bit of he's, uh, he's gonna wall a little bit of no, trouble. It. Right on the ropes. Nice shield grab. Oh, he, oh, he, he wanted he, that tech chase wa read. He wanted the tech in place. There we go. On the platform. Nothing. We're a little late. Down tilt. Missed tech. Oh, he doesn't get the neon though. He really wanted it. He had a great setup there. And what a close gonna get set. Bared. Good DI. He's living. Oh, does the Mewtwo King ledge jump, the Sakurai. Picks up Randall. He does. This is a tough spot. Oh, oh that'll do it. Okay, that was very good job. Good job by Lobo. Staying patient, waiting for first so Colorado the spot excited possibly. for Lobo back there. Getting him to the backside of the, uh, the down air doesn't give him the opportunity to tech it. 2 1 in favor of Lobo's Falco there. That's uh, kind of sad news for the uh, hometown hero for it Kansas is. City. Uh, it is, it is. We would have loved to see our, our kinda, boy still in We're kind of getting bodied this tournament. I think we need a Dark Rain to save us all. Well, <laughs> he is currently saving us all, yeah. so we'll see if that continues on. The last hope. Yeah, Plus, there's also true. Strong Bad in Project M, but so far, 